José Antonio Tenorio, senior scientific of uh, Eduardo Torroja Institute. He's a civil engineer from Universidad Politécnica de Madrid and a PhD in Sevilla University. He has been working in uh, Eduardo Torroja Institute for Construction Science in the Quality in Construction Unit since 1999 to 2016, Head of Quality in the Construction Area since 2010, where he had been responsible for the development of the Spanish Building Code. Now he's senior scientific developing projects in three research areas, industrialization, energy, and sustainability. Thank you very much, Manuel. First of all, I would like to thank all of the partners, of course, but also all of the people that in Toroja Institute was cooperated and collaborated in the, in the project. Not only Guillermo in the, in the group, the research group, all others that uh, are participating in testings or in helping us, uh, for example, the unit of evaluation of, of assessment, Antonio Blázquez, etc. All of them are part of, of this project, and today I'm going to, to present. Now, we, have no, we are not talking about um, our cable, cable robots, we are not talking about um, procedure, we are talking about products. So, uh, if you think in innovation, there are two principal innovations. One is related with products and innovative products, and the other is innovative processes. This the project is about both. It's an innovative material, it's innovative product and innovative process. And this is very complicated. Uh, there are a lot of factors that uh, uh, are important in the result. And we have to analyze the, this result. The construction se sector, as you know, is being modernized, modernized in the recent years and with industrialization, with uh, 3D printing, with uh, building information modeling, etc. And now we are in the door of this innovation and we uh, working in that in Toroja Institute. Do you think the innovation is a problem uh, for, the, for the products? So standardization is uh, the, the key of, of uh, proof the uh, fulfill uh, the, the ability of the of, of the of if the project fits for the purpose use standardization is not always uh, so, sorry innovation is not always a, a barrier uh, regulation must be for all the products and can be viewed as uh, a barrier but uh, as you know there are system to evaluate to assess the the innovation and Toroja Institute uh, was working in that more than 60 years for, from now. So in 3D printing construction, it's important also to evaluate the result. Uh, and how about the C marking under the PCR? Uh, it's possible to, um, to use uh, printing, uh, 3D printing technology as a product, uh, as a real product, and it's possible to have a C marking in that. Of course, there are two ways of, of, of products. One is the standardization way, that uh, with a, a harmonized, harmonized uh, European standard. But if you don't have the uh, European standard, you can use the EOTA procedures. EOTA is the European, European Organization for Technical Assessment. And in this area, um, EOTA can, uh, EOTA and the, the institutes like Torroja Institute in Spain or, or other architect or Trinalia can make that kind of, of, of um, assessment for, for all kind of products. So uh, what uh, the procedure in, in a product like uh, that we are uh, producing? Because now, as Javier said before, we have products. We have products uh, that can be in the market. Uh, we know how to print. We, how, uh, how we know how to uh, make the additive. We, how, uh, we know how to make the subtractive um, technology. So we have products that we can sell or, or uh, in, the, in the market. Well, so. What is the procedure? The procedure is that, uh, of course, we have not an, an standard of 3D printing. We, uh, there, is, there are a lot of, of standard about cement, about additives, about uh, everything, but not about 3D printing. So we need to to write in the in the other way. It's, uh, using the uh, EOTA, EOTA um, rules. Uh, the first that uh, you have to know is that you need an EAD, that is uh, the document that is prepared for the Institute of EOTA 
to know how to prove that, uh, that the material fulfills all the requirements that is necessary to, to fulfill. Uh, the work that we have done in these uh, years in the, in the project is to uh, make some uh, work that is the pre-EID. So if, uh, if when we continue working with uh, this material, we can start the, the processes to obtain an, an EID and then the e uh, European Technical Assessment and then the um, C marking, of course. Um, are the regulation... Um, is the regulation in Euro a problem for this kind of product? Of course not. Euro code is uh, the regulation in safety and security and is for all kind of structures, of, of, for all kind of products. So, so our uh, system, when uh, the material uh, are used as a structural material, of course, in, in the future, can be um, a, a project with the uh, Euro codes. Uh, and what happened with the other regulations, with mm, uh, safety in case of fa uh, fire, is health, safety in use, protection against noise, noise etc. All of them are at, at national level uh, for, the, um, other, uh, for all the European member states. Spain has our, our, our regulation, but all of these um, requirements are mm, used and are uh, studied at, with um, normalized standards, so all the regulations are more or less similar. But it's important. It's like uh, the answer and the question. This is the, the question, and what is the answer? The method of verification. It's important to, mm, to test if uh, we um, can uh, achieve uh, the right dimension, tolerance, stability, the main properties or behavior or, or performance of the of the material, compressive strength, uh, uh, resistance, density, etc. And of course, the properties like reaction to fire, resistance to fire, etc. But it's necessary to to fulfill all. It depends. It depends the, of the intended uses. Uh, the intended uses of the of the project of of uh, heat code project was uh, to make elements for beaches, for food beaches at the beginning. Uh, finally, we decided to, uh, to postpone or uh, we thought about uh, make column, bus shelters, but uh, the elements that are mm, under the, the study are, uh, finally was fashat elements, self-insulation walls, technical walls, element, etc. So, um, when you know the intended use and uh, you can um, have a list of essential characteristics, relevant assessment, and uh, you have in your hand the rules of IOTA, the EIG, and you obtain finally an European technical assessment that is a passport for all the products, even these kind of products. Example of uh, this procedure is uh, the wall that uh, you have seen in the previous uh, slides. The example is this element. Uh, the properties are, that you have to prove, the, uh, the essential characteristics are dimension, uh, stability, comprehensive stretch, flexural, etc. All of them are uh, using different standards and all of them with method of verification. Um, density uh, and if the wall separates different users, for example, uh, is necessary to test a reaction to fire or, or not to test, or is sometimes um, simulation uh, procedures, etc. And uh, others like vapor, etc. So we have now material, we have products, and we start making some tests at the beginning. One of these is, the, for example, the test of printing elements. This is a test made here the other day in the, here in, the, in our laboratories and we tested this. I'm going to sh show you how it's, uh, it's a video and then people in Toroja like to blow anything. But do you know how many elephants uh, are, <laughs> are needed to break this uh, element? One, two, three, four, five, nine elephants. Nine elephants, the pressure of, uh, the, the load of nine elephants <coughs> to, to break 
a small piece of concrete. It's incredible. The material is incredible. It's very, very it's incredible. 444 uh, kilonewtons. Kilo new, uh, newtons. Uh, so, and the size of this material is, is very uh, special. Special because it's not a, a, a proof to make an assessment. It's only uh, to know how is the the way that the the concrete uh, of the concrete behavior. So, uh, we made a usual test of, of um, resistance, etc. Complementary to the test of the material because the material that we, that we have to um, test are real material is material uh, that pa uh, that uh, are pumpy are pumped etc is the material and we know uh, to know how is the resistance so we are talking about 90 megapascals is very very high at the age of 40 days so it's not a uh, normal material a normal mortar or, some, or, or something like that. We test other um, properties, for example, like thermal conductivity, that is uh, higher than other con uh, concrete that can be used, for example, for, for different um, uses, etc. And for my side, is all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.